Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to House Flipper. Now, I did do one um, episode of this already, and I had quite a lot of good responses. People seemed to really like it, so I thought I would start trying to do a regular series of it. And because of the way I have been able to cleverly manage my time, and hopefully keep things running like that, um, I am now able to do this as a regular feature on a Monday. So... Hopefully, this will be able to stay as an episode every single Monday at 6pm. How long, I mean, obviously, you know, we're not going to do this one game forever, but yeah, that's that's gen the general idea. Now, just remember, this game is still in beta, so it may have bugs, it may have issues. This is not the final released product, so we just need to keep that in mind. Um, but... We are definitely going to be having a look at it. So what we want to do is we want to go back to our um, computer, our laptop over here, and we go to Mail Sarah Lewis, Small House to Refresh. Hi, I need your help. I bought a small house and I need to have three radiators mounted. Bathroom looks good, but it has an old dirty toilet. Please mount a new one. I'd like to move in. I'd like to move into it ASAP, so please make rooms clean and tidy. So we've got to do some more cleaning. And we've got three radiators to do, and 65% left to make complete order possible. Um, okay. Why do people keep selling houses that look like this? It's disgusting. This is what the last one looked like. Okay, uh, so we go to this one, and we go to cleaning tool. And we'll start by doing some cleaning. We definitely, definitely need to do a little bit of cleaning in here. This is grotty, to say the least. Uh, we go up to the move objects, and you can just click on these to dispose. That's quite... I, I do... I'm. There's something about this game that is really, really appealing. I really enjoy it. And from the comments that I got from the last episode, I'm not alone with this. You did really enjoy the last episode of this, so I'm going to try to do some more. We've got some old newspapers there, cardboard boxes, and a bit of muck and rubbish. Um, let's quickly clean this bit here. Um, seriously, how how did the how did the pig tracks get on the ceiling? Um, yeah, on, only Simpsons movie again. I'm probably going to be saying this a lot. Is how did they get on the ceiling? There's that's what that's that's just what happened. Um, clean dirt. Oh, bedroom. We've just got to mount electrical socket down here. Um, actually, I think we just go like that, and then you go E. That is in very poor condition. Um, yeah. So you just. Press on it like that, and then you press on that one again. So then we undo these. I think. Yep, there we go. That one's undoing. And then I can take that one out, and then I can put a new one in. So from what I've been told, I think this is actually a US-style socket. Or it's supposed to be a US-style socket, even if it's not actually a US-style socket. Um, it's definitely not UK, and it's not European. So um, I think it's supposed to be US. Uh, we'll see. Um... Got that bit there. So here in the kitchen, I need to do a little bit more cleaning. Um, I don't think it really matters what style socket it is. It's definitely, it's not a UK one. I know that much. Um, but, you know, quite frankly, the, the whole like new cleaning perk is available. Press L. Now, obviously, they are upgrading everything as they go through, which um, is making things, you know, they're going to be redoing like the, the whole perk tree and stuff like that. Um, see some dirt in minimap. That might actually be better if we go for that one. So we'll upgrade there on a point. So we'll see some of the dirt in the minimap. Um, let's come out of there. Mainly because if you see the dirt in the minimap, like occasionally when you've got the issue where you can't quite see the dirt properly, um, if you can see it on the minimap, we'll then be able to sort things out without any problems. Because we did have that in the last episode. There was one little bit I just couldn't find. It was running around all over the place. And I reckon by... Having dirt available to be seen on the minimap, it's going to make it a lot easier. So clean dirt is at like 80% now. Clean that bit up there. 89% um, clean. Have we got any more cleaning that I can do? I'm just I'm, I'm kind of running this thing around. Um, well, it doesn't look like there's any cleaning it needs to do. Oh, we've got this window here. This window is filthy. Uh, so that's 94%. You can now complete... Yeah, I don't want to do that. I don't want to complete like a, a partial order. 97% is that window going to be the last? Right, that's done. We need to radiator buy and mount a new radiator. So I want to go down here. How do I get to doing a radiator? This is going to be a difficult bit. Uh, let's just go to this one. Um, how, how do I do that then? Right, uh, complete order. Tablet. I want to go tab. Um, 
perks shop. So we want to go, ah, I see, and then we've got to buy a radiator. So I want to go domestic appliance. No, it's not going to be in there, is it? Um, panels, paints, tables, radiator. There we go, £32.87. pence. was not there three radiators to do? I don't know, let's just buy one of them for a minute, and we put that on there. Right, uh, to purchase item used there to cancel the purchase to the right. So we want to use tool rotate 90 degrees. No, I don't want to rotate it at all. I just want to put it on there like that, and then E. Oh, I see, you got to put it on. Um, put that on there. Ah, right, so then you got to do it up like that. Okay. And we can do, take that one up, and then put that one on there. Put up, put that on there. Right, that's that's good to go. Um, remove trash. Oh, that's in the other room. So we've done these two rooms here. This one is going outside. Is there anything out here? I don't know. There isn't anything outside. So we've got, that is all done. That's done out there. We've done everything in there. We got, was there three radiators to do? This bathroom looks a bit grim. Let's do some cleaning a minute. I'm going to go to cleaning there. So we've got 14% uh, dirt cleaned. Actually, the dirt is going to be cleaned fairly quickly in here by the look of it. Just make sure that's gone. And then we can do the window here as well. Anything up there. Uh, but, oh, there's a little bit around the toilet. That's a bit grim. There we go. That's all clean. Right, that's done. I now need to remove trash, which would probably be the old toilet. Uh, so I'm going to go to that one and dispose. Excellent, and then I've got to buy a toilet and get a new one, so we press tab, and then we go uh, radiators, panels, paints, desks. Uh, what am I looking for? Oh, bathroom. There. And then I can come down through here, so there we go, so we've got the toilet. Is there any other type of toilet? No, it's just one type of toilet, so we just want that one there. Buy now, and you can go in there, and then we go to E, and we've got to fasten this one on. Right, so that one goes in there. We've got one bolt down there, and just one in there. That's actually really, really easy to fit that one. Um, put that one on there. Now what? What am I doing? Oh, I'm just putting the top on, and then you put the lid on. The top of the lid, and we're done. Toilet 100%, radiator, buy and mount a new one, sink, buy and mount a new one. Right, so we want a radiator to go on there. So if I go to tab here and I go radiator, there we go, by you and put you on there. And then we can start fitting this one on and that one goes on to there. And then you put this one over onto this side. Select that one. You've got to lift that one up. Do up the pipe on that side and on that side. I don't see them using any PTFE tape on there, but I'm assuming that they are as kind of a sealant that you put around the joints as you do them up. I'm assuming they are because you, you wouldn't leave it just sort of so that it was going to um, be left hanging. Um, we want a sink in here as well. What am I doing here? What's this? I'm taking those bits off. Now what? Buy and mount a new one. Right, well let's try going to uh, bathroom again. And mountable sink. It'll be this one. Buy now. And there. Right, now if I go E. So what if I don't... Oh, I see. You've got to put these rods into the wall for it first. Do that on there, and then put that one in, so that one's ready, and then that one in there, and then we can put the sink on. Um, oh, got to poke the sink on, and then do up the... Is it going to do up? Oh, there we go. Do up the washer onto that one, and then do the bolt onto it, uh, the nut onto it, so you put the washer on, and then you put the nut on as well, and, and we can connect in the pipes, and then put the tap on the top, join that in, Connect in the uh, plug hole and then the drainage as well. You need to put the drainage in. And don't forget the U-Bend. You've got to put the U-Bend on. That's got to go on underneath or... Well, U-Bend or trap. It's, it's basically it's a trap is what you call it. So order is 100% com complete. Press return. You have done 100% order. You may complete for £373.17. pence. Complete. Excellent. Your job took you 7 minutes and 57 seconds. Loading ranking. I, I'm assuming that the ranking bit is um, something that we don't need to worry about. So we've done one order. That was really quick. Nice and easy. Really quick. We've done a bit of plumbing as well. So let's come back into our own house here. And let's go and see if we got another order. What else have we got? Uh, we got mail. Amanda Johnson at Amaranth Walls. What is that? Hello, I dream about Amaranth Walls. In my, I have no idea what that means. I've, I've never heard of that. Um, in my living room. I think that it's 
trendy color, but I know it is very strong and it shouldn't be on all walls. Please paint selected parts of walls. Rest of walls should be white. Is that a color then? Um, I don't really know what this means. I've got to be honest. This is this is new to me. Um, it might just be the name of a color. If it's the name of a color, that would be why I've got no clue. Because um, right, mount devices here of one paint room, twenty four cubic meters. So let me go in here. Oh, that's other rooms. It's other rooms, so it's not in here. This is it's still in other rooms, so it's not that one. What about the bedroom? It's in here. Mount electrical outlet. So we've got to do an electrical outlet in here. Where are you? Bedroom. Where's the electrical outlet? There should be one available here somewhere. Shouldn't there? It says bedroom, mount electrical outlet. Hmm. Uh... Let me try moving the... Well, first of all, let's just try moving that one. Yeah, you press and hold like that, don't you? And then you can move it right. So it's not there. Uh, ooh, in oh, there it is. There it is. I see it. No, that's not the one, apparently. Let me move the chair back over there. Let's put you over there out the way. And then we get the desk and we'll move that one. Ah, I see. Very sneaky. Very sneaky. Right, let's come down here and we'll do this one. So we've got... Oh, there's computer sockets there. Uh, but we don't need to worry about that one. And I've never seen a socket with one of those on it before. So you can stick a monitor straight into the wall. That's new to me. I must... Yeah, I've never... No, I've never seen one like that. I've seen these before for, like, television aerials and stuff. But I've never seen that before. It's quite good. It is a good idea. You can, like, you can have a PC set anywhere in the house. And then you just have your monitors in different rooms. So I, I can really see the appeal of such a system, but I don't know how well it would work. Right, uh, we don't actually need to put the furniture back, so we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to leave the furniture where it is. The owner can put the furniture back uh, when they're finished. Um, right, room 24 meters, paint using colors amaranth and gray. Okay, uh, how do we paint? Ooh, I see, we go like that. We go to the paint tool. So, what colours am I supposed to be doing? How do I know what colours I'm supposed to paint the wall? Uh, I should buy a can of paint. Right. Um, let's go to tab and paints. Right. Glary blue. Right, I need grey. So, let me just let's see if there's just a standard grey in here anywhere. And amaranth or amaranth. I've never heard of this colour. This is completely new to me. So, I want a tin of um, grey paint. Oh, I see. It's is is it telling? Oh no no no! I've got to um, drop that on the floor there like that, and then I can use it. So uh, use tool. Nope. I should hold left mouse button, change tool, and then paint tool. There we go. Use tool. Ah, right. So now, how do I know which walls I'm supposed to be painting and which walls I'm not? I don't really know. Uh. Right, paint using colours amaranth and grey. Right, so I can paint there. And I can paint there. I think you've only got to do it the once. Like that. So there's grey. Right, uh, let me keep going. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to paint this wall grey. And I can move across it like this. I should buy a can of paint. Right, um, well, I don't need to buy a can of paint. So now I want to try and find this. Oh, there it is, amaranth. What is that? Seriously? That is a very, very bright colour. Um, okay. Let's let's see if this works. So I want to put that on there, and then I want to soak it up. So how much am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to, oh, 5 of 102. So uh, do I do an entire wall with this colour? That is a lot of rather garish coloured paint. Um, so I'll do just one, like, cycle on each panel there like that I should buy a can of paint um, so then I can put that in there and that soaks it back up again this is uh, what why oh that um, th there's one panel there that's not fully painted do that one there like that and then we've got the side panel there on the side of the window and we've got that one there all the way around the window uh, that's not finished yet we can soak it up again this is a lot. This is a lot of color. Um, I don't remember what the job was, whether I was supposed to be doing all of it with this one color or not. Put all of that on there. Oh, great! It's little tiny patches. We're going to be able to. Nope. 
Need to do a bit more in there. Soak that one up. I can finish that job there. And you and you and you. So if I go at this again, if I go on the same one, does it keep using the paint up? Or is it... Oh, it does. It keeps using the paint up. I've run out of paint just by painting on the same spot. Right, well, we need to remember that for the future. So I'm going to do this wall down here. This is all going to be this um, garish sort of pinkish color. Amaranth, apparently. I've never heard of this color. I've honestly, I've never heard of this color in my life. Um, you know, I'm, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking that's red or pink. It's, it's, it's kind of pink. Um, dark pink. You got pink and you got dark pink. Okay, so th this is dark pink. Um, but then you see this, you get like color charts and that and they've got all these weird fancy names and you, you, I kind of look at them and I'm like, no, nah, I, I can't see it myself. I, I really can't. It's, you know, a color is a color. You, you you can't keep renaming it just because you don't like the name that you've already given it. Uh, go, right, do I want to paint that bit? In, yeah, I do. I want to paint in there as well, don't I? So I've got that. Um, there's another piece there that needs to be painted. It's a lot of paint for that bit. Right, that's all done up there. Go back into this corner. I'm going to paint everything over there. And we're on 20 set. We've got a lot of painting to do. Right, that one's out. I don't remember exactly what she said. I know that she didn't want the whole room painted with this colour. She wanted some grey and she wanted some pink. So I'm guessing it's kind of one wall of pink. And then you can now complete the order. I'm not going to give up just yet. I'm going to keep going. We're going to use up our tin of pink paint. And... We will finish this. So what about... No, you don't do the windowsill, obviously. And we can do that back bit back there. And then we can do this piece here inside the window. And I'll do the same. Oh, no, I've already done that bit. Or have I? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, so then we can do these bits up here like this. So I've still got to... I need to get some more paint. Have I got enough to finish the order? I think I do. I think I can... Well, I can at least do the pink. I can do all of the pink. So we can do that one over there. I got... Little pieces here now. It's the bit that takes the time. Well, actually, no, this is it's actually pretty quick if I can do it like that. And no, I've run out of pink paint. I'm so, so close to finishing. Oh, no. I've got one tiny little bit now. I've got those three pieces up there still to do. And then we're on gray. So let's go on to the gray. And we can start just doing this wall over here. This is going to be pretty quick, actually. Uh, I've just got... That one to finish there. There we go. And suck up a little bit more. So we can do this. So yeah, if the other if the other walls are grey, is that gonna be is that what she wants? Using paint using those two colours. It doesn't actually specify where I've got to put the colours, does it? There's no kind of specification for you've got to put this colour on this surface. So we've got that one there. There's 50 of with 51 now of 102 surfaces, which makes me think that this is going to still take quite a while. Uh, that is a very bright pink, isn't it? Maybe I should do that wall there pink as well, and then we can do this wall grey. So let me get the grey a minute, and we'll keep going with this wall here. I can complete the order if I want to. I can just give up now and stop. Get some more paint. I'm not going to, not just yet. Let's see how this goes. That one there. And another one. So let's get a bit more paint on a brush. Like that. I've got that one long one there. And then we can run through those. Right. That's that bit done. And then it's great big long sections for the rest of this wall. So how easy is that going to be to do? Uh, one up there. Next. It does take a while, doesn't it? Right. We can do... I forget how many sections that was. How many is that? So we've done one, two... Yeah, we can do four on a full roller. So there's one and two, three and four. And then if you look at the brush, I don't think it's got enough to complete it. Oh, it has. We can do five. Ideal. Um, so yeah, what I was actually wanting to do... No, that's just a half of one. So I'm just going to put part... Just do like a part brush on there if I can. And then fill that one as well. I'm going to use up the paint so that we don't kind of have a mixture... And then I want to buy one more tin of this garishly horrible pink paint right here. There we go. Let's put you down there. And uh, use tool. Nope. And go like that. There. Now use tool. Get some pink on there. And then we can just finish doing those two up there like that. And 
Right, so I've got a couple of great big long sections here. Let's do another one there. I think that's going to be about it. I don't think it's going to complete this one. Oh, yes, it will. Ideal. I should buy a can of paint. Yeah, we got paint. We got loads of paint. I could put that one on there. And then round the window. So we've just got this last little bit to do. I've got that one there. I can do that piece on the inside in there. There. Let me get a little bit more on my brush. On my roller, whatever you want to call it. And I do that one. So then I've got the, the top sections up here. This is a bit that takes... It's quite quick to do this. Um, and that one... I can try and sort of slide them along, but I'm actually missing bits if I do it like that. And it, it doesn't work out very well. There we go. Finish that one. And you're not quite complete. So we grab another bit of paint on here. And I can do those top bits. So then we've just got this underside here to work through. Three and four there. And we got underneath the windowsill. I missed one piece there. I didn't complete that one. There we go. And I get a bit more paint. I'm hoping she's going to be happy with this. I'm thinking maybe we should have done stripes. Stripes could have been actually really cool. If we could have gotten that to work properly, that would have been very, very cool. Right, why can't I paint there? Why can't I paint? Let me paint. There we go. It doesn't actually like it. It's, it's, um, it's because it's close to the sink, that's why. Didn't like me to get too close to it. Uh, 97 painted. We've got... Only five left to do. We should be able to do that with this last roller full of paint. Uh, so there's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. And there is almost... It's 101. Order 100%. No, it's not. It's not finished. We just got that one left there. Now we're done. We've done it. We have completed. Order 100%. We've done the whole lot. So, yeah. It's not particularly exciting doing the painting. But we can complete this order for 620 squids. Um, okay, that took us 11 minutes. Right, I think we got time for some more. We now have £1,200, and I'm not even going to bother to shut our front door. Uh, if I go here and take a look at the computer, we've got this, but if we go to the browser, the cheapest house to buy is £3,100, and then I'm guessing that we would have to buy a few things in order to be able to do it up. So we don't want to do that just yet. We're going to go to the mail, and walls to knock down. Oh, now this is more like it. Hi! This is from Anthony Gray. I love open spaces, but in this home where I do not look are the door. I would like the living room to be an open space, and I do not have these awful doors. Not only people lose themselves. Right, you do have to keep in mind that the game is still in um, beta testing, isn't it? And so the English language translation has not been done completely. It's just a basic translation to start with from Polish. So... Just keep that in mind, okay? This is not the completed product. I don't want anybody bashing the game just because of the temporary translations at the moment. I, there's absolutely no need for that because this game really does look really good. And they're currently working on the important bits, the actual features to the game. Um, optimizations and better translations and stuff, they've already stated quite clearly that that's going to come later because they don't think that's a priority and I absolutely 100% agree. So basically, um, improve the bedroom. I think it's too tight. It's probably though the colours and badly arranged furniture. My house isn't big but it has too many doors. Don't like cramped corridors. Knock down walls between the corridor and the living room. I accept. So I think there's some painting to do. We'll see. Um, paint bedroom and we've got to knock down a wall. So where's, where's the wall that we got? So we got walls modified, 0, 0.52, mount device is 0, 0.5, paint bedroom, 15 millimeter uh, meter squared with light blue. So what do we got in here? This is a living room. I don't want to do that one yet. I want to go to the bedroom. A bathroom. That will have a radiator that we got to mount. And bed. Whoa. That is a very garish shade of green. Right. We've got... Walls modified, paint bedroom 15, other rooms. Uh, this one is, oh, this is this bedroom. We've got to buy a radiator. Well, let's do the radiator in here a second. Uh, can I get to it? I might be able to get to it. Let's see. Um, go tab, and then we go down to radiators in here. We can buy that one. Buy you. Right, I need to, how do I rotate? Oh. Ah, right, yeah. So you press shift, and then rotate like that, and then that, that does it. Um, but I can't put it on there. 
There is not enough space. So let me just get rid of that one and I will pick up the bed and I will dump the bed over there so it's out of the way. Then I can get my radiator. Did I already buy the radiator or not? Um, build upper, sell, paint, hammer, build wall, build upper wall, move objects. No, I didn't already buy. I go to that one. Yeah, buy now. You don't actually buy it, I don't think, until you place it on the wall. So then we can go and press E, and we can go down here, and we can quickly mount it onto the wall like that. And on there, and then we go to that one. We undo the valve so that the water can circulate properly, and we put that on there. Job done. Excellent. And this bedroom is done. So I can open the door, get out of here. Let me out! I can't get out. Uh, right, let's move the bed and put it back over here where we had it previously. There we go. So it's right next to the radiator. That's not necessarily a good idea. I know people that have been bunt doing that, leaned up against the radiator. Although, to be fair, they shouldn't have been drinking so much. So um, it was their own faults. Uh, we got a radiator mount in here and we got painting to do in here. So, ooh. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Um, let me just go to that one for a minute. I want to go into here, and then I want to go down, I think, oh, paint, paint, there's paint. Uh, what colour is it that we've got to do? Light blue, isn't it? Yeah, light blue, we want that one there. Buy you, and let's drop you down there a minute, and then I want to go to painting, and absorb some light blue. And we've got to paint this wall, so this is going to take us a little while. Finish that one, there. I think we can do five strips per roller brush, yeah five it'll manage to do five so we've got five of 80 have i got to paint the whole room i really hope not because it takes ages to paint the room um there we go there's a load more done and i'll keep i'm just going to work through this wall a minute and then we'll see about doing something different in here and is that one going to paint nope we haven't quite got that last one there Suck up a bit more paint onto our brush. There we go. Right, that's that one. And, yeah, it looks like we've got to paint all of the walls modified. What? Oh, yeah, I am painting it right. It's We've done 20 sections. I've got to do 80 sections all together, which makes me think I've got to paint the entire room and not just this one um, wall here, which is a little bit of a shame. Grab that one there. Yeah, because it means that we've got to do bits around the windows, and they do take quite a bit of time, don't they? I'm going to carry on and do this painting a minute so that we get it out of the way, and then we can worry about doing the rest of the house, because you've seen lots of painting this episode, and I don't want to bore you with loads of the stuff. Nearly finished now. Just got this last little bit around this window here, and that is all of the painting done. So, so far, from what I've seen of the game, painting, you do need to do quite a bit of painting, and I would say that the dullest um, uh, mechanic so far is doing the painting. Doing the painting is... I mean, I like the idea of it. It is fun, but I would like to... S I'm hoping that there is like a, a tree or something like that that um, will allow you to increase the amount of painting that you can do in a t at a time or something like that. Just to kind of speed the process up a bit, I really hope there is. I mean, like we did have for cleaning, so we do have that kind of in our favour. Anyway, right now I want to go to radiator. I want to buy a radiator. Buy now. I stick that one on the wall there, and we can do this one up. Have we got anything else to do in this ha in this room? We've just got the radiator to do on the wall. Um, it's nearly done mounting it. Let me just finish doing this one on here. So we've got bedroom, right? Bedroom is done. This is this is all finished. So we've got walls modified. We've got to mount devices. Come out of there. Let's go into the bathroom. What have we got? Radiator, buy and mount a new one. We've got to put a radiator in there. That is... That looks like, actually, a um, dehumidifier. Um, anyway, we don't need to worry about that. Let's get a radiator and stick it on the wall there. Right, I can't actually see the radiator. That's a bit of a nuisance. Uh, let me come away from there a minute and pick this one up and move it so that it's out the way. And then we can go back to this one and we can actually see what we're doing. There we go. Right. We can put that one back on the wall. And once we've done this bit, then I think that's everything that's going to be in the... Yeah, we've only got to mount this one in the bathroom. That's it. So the bathroom is done. I'll move this one here. That can go back over there. It's out the way. Right. Bathroom's done. 
We've done this bedroom as well. We've got walls modified zero and devices mounted. We've got uh, other rooms. This one here, we've got radiator buy and mount a new one. We've got ones that go in there and walls modified as well. We've got to modify some walls. I don't remember which ones though. Oh, I, I can actually, I can clearly see on the description there. We can see which walls have got to be modified. So let me go in here a minute and we'll buy a radiator. We'll stick this one on and I can do that. Can I reach it? Yes, I can. You, so long as you can reach it, you got you got to have line of sight. So, so long as you got line of sight, it looks like you can mount the things up without any problems. Put that one on there. Right. Uh, quest earnings so far, £248. And we got walls modified. So I need to modify that wall there. I think I need to rip the wall out and the door. So let's go to build wall hammer. Hammer. This is more like it. Go on. Yes. Keep going. Break stuff. Break it down. Smash. <laughs> Go on. Take it. You, you need to remove the wall completely. We, we, this is what we got to do. We've got to take the whole wall down. That's what he wanted. I'm pretty sure that's what he wanted. I hope that's what he wanted because otherwise we're in trouble. And right. There's a whole load of stuff there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on. This is going to land on top of us, isn't it? It's not the way to do this. This is about to land on top of us. And out it goes. Yes. Yes. It's falling. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. Look. I've knocked the wall down. I've actually knocked the wall. Oh, this is this is superb. This is absolutely brilliant. Let me just smash that bit up there. This is always the best bit. This is always the fun bit. When you're doing any um, construction work, this is the fun bit. Let me close that door a minute and we'll smack the door down as well. We don't want the door. What can we do with the door? Keep hitting it and take it out. That's what you got to do. <laughs> yes! Oh, that is brilliant. Oh, what about the wiring? Um, That might be a problem. I don't think we want to do... Yeah, let's not worry about the wiring. We're, we're just going to keep smacking this down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. Right, let's, let's walk underneath the unsupported damaged wall and let's take a hit from this side. Oh, this is brilliant. It's all coming down. You can now complete your not fully... I don't want to complete it yet. I've still got a house to knock down. <laughs> oh, yes. Keep going. I don't even know what's through this door. I don't think I've been through here. Let's take a look. There's only one way to find out. We need to knock the door down. There we go. Keep going. Go on. You can do this. Yes, it's coming down. It's coming down. Right the way through. Go, 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 go. It's not going to do it, is it? Let me open the door and oh i'm, I'm gonna smash the kitchen at this rate okay I, I gotta be a little bit careful with this and keep hitting it there we go slowly coming out um, actually i'll tell you what let's um knock some of the wall down around it and then uh we can sort of deal with that afterwards if i keep knocking this down here this is that bit there that i also i want to take out this corner as well don't i or is that bit that I'm supposed to... No, I'm not supposed to change that. I'm supposed to hammer it down. Keep going. There we go. It's breaking now. It's, it's coming through. You've just got... You've got to be persistent with the hammering. You've got to be persistent. But it does eventually work. There we go. The whole lot is coming down now. <laughs> That's that bit. That's all down. So now I should be able to get this door to come out. Go on. We can do this. Uh, it doesn't like that. Well, there we go. Right, the, the door is out. I've, I've gotten rid of the door, and we've got a support pillar over here. That can come right down as well. I think this isn't actually... I'm hoping this wall is not structural. Um, because if the wall is structural, then we're in trouble. But probably not. Looking at the, like, the floor plan of the house, I would guess that we've got A-frames going across the whole house. Um, and none of the internal walls are actual um, load-bearing. So, so long as we've got no load-bearing walls on the inside, everything is tickety-boom. We can just keep walloping away with a hammer. And everything's going to be fun. I tell you what. If you've ever never worked in construction at all, just try to get a job like working with someone that does the odd little bit of demolition because it's so much fun. Knocking down a house is more fun than you would think. It really is. And, you know, when you go to build an extension, the first thing you do is you go along and you knock down the old bit that's there first. Um, and this is always my favorite bit. Especially if you get to use a digger or an excavator or something like that to assist you with the knocking down of the house. 
That makes it even more fun. Right. Um, I've got a bit of a mess going on here at the moment. Quite a bit of a mess. I need to keep taking this down here. Um, walls modified 25 of 35. I want to go right back into this corner and start knocking them down all the way along. Uh, there we go. It's starting to come through. Oh, oh, oh. We're getting a bit of trouble here. No, it's going okay. One of the other things you need to note about the game is currently it's not optimized very well. They know this. They're very well aware of this. Um, it is on the to-do list, but again, it's not a priority. So I would guess with stuff like this, you've got kind of these physics going on. Um, that is going to put a little bit of a drain on the system. But I haven't dropped below 50 frames a second yet. So overall, I'd say it's doing pretty well. Um, let me just move up there and we'll take out that top. There we go. All of that can come out. And we can knock that bit down there. So we've, we're, we're doing really, really well with this. Smash all of this away. <laughs> Excellent. This is so much fun. This really is. Um, right, 31 of 35. I've got a couple of bits here that need to come out. Let's make sure that I'm getting the right ones here. Yep, that's definitely the right one there. And knock down that bit there. And then come back into this side. And one more there. That's the last one there, I think. Yes. Take those two there, like that. Knock that bit down. Right, there we go. Superb. Um, I'm not sure how you're supposed to tidy it up. But the room... Oh, well, the order is 93% complete. Now, I'm, I am sort of still knocking some of this down, but it doesn't look like it's wanting to uh, knock completely. I've got that bit down there still to finish as well. But, I mean, you look at the the map, it's actually showing the job as complete. So maybe that's all I need to do. And I don't need to sort of finish knocking out the rest of the wall. It just kind of slowly vanishes. Um, let me go here and... Can I do something with that? I can pick the door up and I can kind of move it around. Let's put you there. Um, change tool. Oh, sell. Right, so we sell that one. There we go. And I sell that door as well. I sell I can't sell the brick right so that's what you do with that and then hammer I want to go back to the hammer and I just want to knock down that little last bit down there and that's done right that's all of the wall taken out so I've got one more bit that I want to do and that is build a, put a radiator on the wall over here may have to move that kitchen worktop there in order to do this so let's buy yes I do need to buy that um, nope I don't do that either I want to go like that I want to lift you out Gonna have to move that one. We'll just put that over there for a minute and then we can go on to here again and then we can buy the radiator, put that one on the wall and we're in. There we go. This is the last bit. We've got this, just this radiator to put and then the order should be 100% complete. We've done all of the knocking down of the wall. We've done the painting. We've mounted the other radiators that need to be done. Order 100%. That is it. 413 pounds complete. And we also got those doors that we sold as well. That is absolutely fantastic. So there we go. We got £1,500 at the moment, which means that we are going to want to continue on doing jobs for people in the next episode, um, which, all going well, will be next Monday. So if you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.